assalamu alaikum students today we will uh, start reading unit number 9 and the topic is all is not lost you can see in the picture that there is a nurse who is taking care of a patient so um, nursing is an underrated profession in pakistan and we know it very well we do not value it the way we value some other professions This story highlights the importance of nursing profession and how the sincere effort and strong determination of a nurse saves a patient from a near crippling stage. So when we will read this unit you will understand that how the effort of a nurse can help a patient to recover. Okay? So let's start with the reading. It was the beginning of my profession as a nurse. it was the start of my career as a nurse okay profession means career i worked in the intensive care unit of neurology ward i worked in the extreme care unit of neurology ward as a young professional i wish to save the world as a young expert i desire to save the world I was excited to see the patients making quick recoveries from devastating accidents. I always feel happiness or I always feel a, a, a happiness and I was glad to see the patients who got recovered from the dangerous accidents. Yet I was pained to nurse those who were struck with acute neurological disorder. Yet I always feel pain and I always hurt myself and I feel hurt. to take care of those patients who are victims of or who are affected with the extreme nervous illness second paragraph one day standing at the bedside of a young patient i wondered if i uh, if she could make the same recovery like others one day when i was standing at the bedside of a young patient i wondered i was thinking if she could make the same recovery like others if she can get well just like the other patients can get well hera had received severe head and spinal injuries hera is the name of the patient okay hera got uh, severe head and spinal uh, injuries as she was hit by a speeding bus because she was hit by a over speed bus while crossing a busy road when she was crossing a road I took her lifeless arm in my hands. I took her motionless arms in my hands and tried to do several exercises on her but in vain. And I tried to do many different exercises with her arms but everything was useless. Also I asked her younger sister to come and talk to her thinking that the voice of a near and dear one might activate the nearly dead neurons. Also I asked her younger sister to come and talk to her and uh, the reason behind this was that i was thinking that uh, the voice of uh, her close relative might motivate her nearly dead nerves she could see but not talk her eyes showed a certain helplessness she could only see and she could not speak her eyes showed a certain helplessness and there was a kind of a helplessness in her eyes I could read her mind through her eyes and I can know what was she thinking or what was she feeling and all this I can know through her eyes perhaps she wanted to say please help me might be she wanted to say that please help me paragraph number 3 a fellow nurse came near me and asked a colleague nurse <coughs> came towards me and she asked Rahila what are you doing she asked me Rahila what are you doing fighting a lost battle are you stru struggling for a lost war i was shocked at first i was really really surprised to hear a colleague making a hopeless comment that one of my fellow nurse is saying such disappointing remark then i replied then i said or i then i answered back I am trying to make her brain process by her sister's voice. I am trying that her brain, the brain of the patient, could work 
by hearing the sound of her sister also i am doing my best to ensure that her arm arms and legs get proper exercise and besides this i am also trying my best to make sure that her limbs like her arms and legs can get good and proper exercises daily so that it can make her body active this might help her walk like a normal person because these exercises will help her body to come to a normal life meanwhile in the same time in the mean uh, while a senior doctor on duty walked in one of a senior doctor uh, who was on duty he come in he came in he gave me an ironic smile and said he hysterically smiled at me he mockingly smiled at me and said if you spend most of your duty hours on one patient we will have to recruit more nurses to attend the other patients recruit means hire someone so that a uh, doctor mockingly said to her that if you will spend your most of the time or if you spend most of your duty time only on one patient then we will definitely hire some other nurses to attend the other patients please go and see the other patients now he ordered her that you should go to other patients to take care of them we do not have much hope for her because we are not having so much hope for her i don't think that she can ever walk again and he was saying that they do not think or they do not have any hope that she can ever walk again next page page number 95 and uh, paragraph number 4 i was upset i was very sad the advice to leave the patient unattended did not seem right because the advice of the doctor or the order of the doctor to leave the patient alone was not seeming to me right it was not good to leave my patient alone i knew that she had suffered from major neural damage but she needed to be given a chance i knew that she had suffered from some big nervous disorder but she needed to be given a chance but she should be given another try an inner voice somewhere within me spoke try once for her and someone saying uh, from inside me that i should try again for her or i should continue my uh, efforts to recover her paragraph number 5 i went to the senior nurse and told her that i wanted to help this patient and work with her more closely so again i went to some of the senior nurse and i requested her that i want to help this patient and i want to spend more time with her so that i can take care of her more closely the senior nurse looked at me with utter surprise the senior nurse was looking at me with complete uh, surprise and shock and remarked and she said that she had orders from the doctor in charge to shift her to general ward that i have been orders from the senior doctors that we should shift this patient to the general ward we should leave the icu uh, to the general ward the doctors thought that she was a hopeless case and the bed must be spared for other patients spared means to to get free the doctors were thinking that she was a hopeless case means there was no chance of recovery so the bed should be freed for some other patients i was shocked to hear this i was really surprised to hear this the patient's family also requested me to help them fight the case the uh, family of the patient was also requesting me to help them so that they can fight the case or they can have their patient uh, to take care of something needed to be done and at that time it was really a need of the hour to do something i could not leave my patient fighting a loss battle on her own because i don't want to leave my patient alone to fight with her illness i made up my mind i decided to risk my career to put my profession in danger and help the patient that i will help in any way i requested the senior doctors to allow me attend this young helpless patient and then i again requested my senior doctors to grant me permission to only attend this patient uh, who uh, was very much helpless 
somehow i was able to make the patient stay in the icu so with these efforts i was able to keep my patient in the icu unit intensive care unit paragraph number 6 i continue to work on hera but she was not making much recovery so uh, she was continuously giving time to that patient she was uh, putting efforts on her but the patient was not making much recovery she was not getting well i felt as helpless as she was to see her lie on bed in a miserable state and i was really feeling myself as helpless as the patient was because she used to be in a very bad condition could i be able to justify my stance before the senior doctors then she was thinking the nurse was thinking that can i be able to prove my position or my uh, stance before the senior doctors that can i prove myself in front of the senior doctors i did not lose hope then i did not lost my hope i continued to work with patients and i started to do work with the patients and kept doing exercises with her and continued to do exercises on her body gradually with the passage of time i could see her making a slight recovery i can see that she was having a little bit of uh, recovery one day i was thrilled to see because one day i was really excited to see she lifted her little finger that was she was able to move her little finger all was not lost it means that everything was not lost paragraph number 7 i was sent on a 3 month training course to karachi then some orders came i i had to leave the patient because i have to go to some training course to karachi i made all possible attempts to leave my patient in good hands so i tried a lot i do many efforts to leave my patient in some good hands i returned after 3 months then i came back after 3 months to see my patient's bed taken up by another and when i came back i saw that the bed of my patient was occupied by some other patient my feet froze to ground i was motionless i was shocked i did not have the courage to ask what happened because i was so sad and i was so shocked that i could not have the courage that i can ask what happened to my patient paragraph number 8 as i stood near the bed with several questions popping in my mind at that time i was standing over there and many questions were coming into my mind i felt a gentle pat on my shoulder that i feel that someone was gently putting uh, her hand on my shoulder i turned around and see a young woman smiling at me then i turned back and i saw that a young lady was standing there and she was smiling at me are you looking for your patient she said and she was asking me that are you searching for your patient and gave me a big hug and by saying that she hugged me thank you for everything you did she was saying thanks for um, her efforts basically this lady was the same patient i know you did not allow me to make me lead a crippled life then she was saying to the nurse that i am well aware of this thing that you did not lose hope that i can not get well and you did not allow me to live a motionless life paragraph number 9 i stood still i was motionless until her family came around we around with big smiles on their faces and in the meantime the family member of that patient came to me and they were having big smiles on their faces they were so much happy thanks to allah she was my patient then the nurse was thanking allah standing and walking on her own feet that her patient has recovered and now she was standing on her own feet and she was walking like a normal person i could not recognize her without the mach- uh, machinery and tubes around her body and uh, why the nurse could not recognize her because now the patient was free of all the machinery and tubes around her body she walked on crutches she was walking on sticks which she would leave in a few months and definitely she will uh, leave uh, those crutches within few months i was glad i was happy that my efforts bore fruits that my efforts were uh, having fruit they came successful but most of all i was happy that allah almighty had helped me to win a lost battle but 
in the same time i was also happy and i was thankful to allah almighty that helped me a lot to win this loss battle paragraph number 10 she and her family had entered into a considerable bond of friendship with me now the patient and her family were having a very close relationship of friendship with the me i was humbled by their sense of gratitude towards me and i was really humbled that they were having a sense of gratitude they were thankful to me i felt a sense of renewed strength in me now i was feeling that there is a new power in me where there is a will there is a way because uh when a person wants to do something he efforts then he can find the destination i was proud to be a nurse and now i was very much proud of myself and i was proud of my profession so students i hope that you have learned it so next you have to do is to com uh, completely prepare it simple english okay and besides this you also have to prepare the words synonyms and the glossary mentioned in the page 97 uh in our next video we will do its exercise all the question answers and the grammar part of this unit okay until then allah hafiz thank you so much